Welcome to Trojan Tips, Trojan Batteries information segments designed to expand and enhance your deep cycle battery knowledge. I'm Vicki Hall, Director of Quality and Technical Services for Trojan Battery Company, and I'll be your host. Today we will be discussing proper charging techniques for your deep cycle, flooded, and valve regulated batteries. Charging is one of the most important, yet most misunderstood components of a battery maintenance program. Batteries need to be fully charged to maximize capacity in life. Batteries discharge during use, and they also self-discharge during storage. So it's important to charge your batteries after every use to make sure that they are at a full state of charge. While in storage, batteries need to be recharged periodically to ensure that they do not stay at a low state of charge. There are a few simple rules that you should follow when always charging your batteries. Number one, make sure that your connections are tight. Number two, make sure that there's an adequate amount of electrolyte over the surface of the plates. Obviously, this is just for your flooded batteries. If there's not enough water over the surface of the plates, you should add enough just to be above the surface of the plate. This is the only time that you should add water before charging. The vents should be completely inserted, and you should never interrupt a charge cycle unless you are doing opportunity charging. You should never charge a frozen battery, and avoid charging over temperatures of 120 degrees. Always make sure you have adequate ventilation to avoid gas buildup, and you should always refer to the battery manufacturer's charging specifications for any specifics. Flooded batteries need to be overcharged, and this is to avoid stratification of the electrolyte. This should occur with every charge cycle and is normally controlled by the charger. Lead acid batteries do not have a memory effect, therefore they don't need to be fully discharged prior to charging. Stratification occurs when the heavier or more dense electrolyte sinks to the bottom of the cell. This can severely shorten battery life. Equalization is an overcharge that's performed on flooded batteries after they have been fully charged. This is conducted to reverse the buildup of negative chemical effects such as stratification. And battery equalization is an important part of any battery maintenance program. Never use a flooded charger to charge a valve regulated battery. AGM and gel batteries are very sensitive to charging, so you should avoid using a flooded charger. Valve regulated charging should be conducted at lower voltages to avoid excessive gassing and battery dry out. Some additional charging notes to consider. When it comes to charge time, the amount of time it will take to recharge your batteries depends on how deeply your batteries have been discharged. So batteries that have been discharged very deeply will take longer than those that have only had a shallower discharge. Typically batteries discharged to 50% depth of discharge will take between six and eight hours to fully recharge. When batteries are cold, they will take longer to recharge than batteries that are warm. Charging should be limited to 16 hours. This is for safety concerns, and most chargers are programmed with this as a safety feature. So regardless of what battery technology you use, proper charging will help extend the life of your deep cycle batteries. Always be sure to read the battery manufacturer's user's manual, which will provide specific information on charging procedures. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about proper charging of deep cycle batteries. Also be sure to visit Trojan Batteries website and to read more about battery technology and other useful battery information. information.